guys, I don't know what that was. I was in my feelings right there, okay? That song, Brown Skin Girl, it just made all my melanin rise, darling. It's Monday right here on Showbiz Patrol. I know how we do it right here every Mondays and Friday. We take a walk on the wild side of show business, entertainment, and all things trending. Let's get into it. Now, it's Pepe Day Monday, of course, so evictions, evictions, evictions. So the people who left last night were Thelma and Nelson. As soon as Nelson left the house, oh um, uh, Esther. Esther just broke down. Say, I uh, sister. She was seen very in her feelings last night because Nelson left the house, I think. Or because someone stole her coins. Oh, yes, let's talk about the coins. So, Ike and Mercy, this is why the Bonnie and Clyde of the seasonal, they have gone into major coin robbery. So I found a way to include Messi in this new business of his, which is robbing all the housemates of their coins. I can also know, also make you know the tip coins for inside before the house. So you know what my favorite part is? I'm so scared today. Really for me or for you? <laughs> You'll be annoyed again. <laughs> Let me think. My second favorite is your nose. Then your eyes is third favorite. But that was such a bonding moment for Messi and IK. Even they even started dropping the L bomb. Someone was saying, I love you, I love you. And I'm like, ah uh ah. -uh. But I feel like IK is playing my mercy. So you guys remember there was a conversation Ike was having with Kathy one time where he was saying that, you know, the viewers like drama, the viewers like romance. And Kathy was arguing with him that, yeah, the viewers like romance. They like seeing people in love. They like all those mushy, mushy things. And I'm not like, okay, Kathy is also forming relationship. Ike is also forming relationship. Are they trying to play us? So all of us, let's better just hold our hearts. Which is why I'm not very sold on Gidoni yet. Because after that conversation Kathy had with Ike, you know, it doesn't even look like Gedoni is also as into the relationship as it's, we want to believe so much. Because look at what he said. During the diabetes moment, Biggie asked them that, okay, who's going to be your top five? You know, Kathy was all about, and we for Gedoni, so we for me, ha, 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 ha. Why Gedoni did not even mention her name? I mean, how can you do that to someone you at least say you like? I mean, you guys are, you know, coupling it up. You're making out all over the place. You know, you're even having some rise and fall of some juve action, which we all know what <laughs> that means. And then you don't even see her as your top five, even if it's wishful thinking. Ah, oh, come on. No, no, no. That right there was a red flag for me in the Cadoni ship. That is like May Day. May Day, Cadoni. It's, it's, it's May Day. I mean, damn, Felicia. I'm sure if Kathy comes down and sees that, she's going to cry. Well, that's if she's not also playing the game because look at both of them are playing us. Hey, poor Esther. Ah, oh, God, the girl went through a lot yesterday. I'm not even gonna lie. And Fraud was not even trying to comfort her. Fraud is mean. It's, it's Fraud's time to be savage. Fraud said, You re rejected me. You made me the laughing stock. You made Ebuka play the tape. Speaking of Ebuka and playing tape last night, let's talk about. Characteristics. 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 Okay, I'm not laughing, but I'm laughing, but this thing is also funny. So, Ebuka, in his usual nature of shaking and shattering tables, so he called on our girl, Tacha. Now, Tacha, of course, did not buff up for the eviction, as she always does. She just wore her dashiki and her slide. Anyway, so Ebuka asked her a question about how she was being very confident in the game and why she felt so confident. And that led to a question about characteristics. Watch this video, I beg. My mom cannot see what I had in the video. Watch this. So, um, you have sort of crowned yourself the resident big brother expert in the house. You know who's going to win. You know what matters in the game. So I want you to help me out here. Give me three characteristics of what a big brother winner should have. Calm down, though. Tatcha, Tatcha, Tatcha. Mm -hmm. That's not very smart. I didn't say name, I said characteristics. Me characteristics, Ibuka. Are you a characteristic? Yes. All right, characteristics of a millionaire. Anika, Anika, Anika. Okay? <laughs> okay, first of all, first of all, in, I'm going to defend both parties because I can understand where both parties are coming from. I've been in the house and I'm also a host, so I understand where both of them are coming from. Now, let's start with Ibuka. Ibuka is a host. His job is to interact 
with people. He cannot just come and be like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, people getting home tonight is this and this and this. All right, that's the show for tonight. Bye. How many of you will watch? I won't watch. Plus, he has to clear out some things, especially when there are a lot of speculations happening outside in the real world. He has to make sure that the housemates clear out any speculation and any misconstruction that's going on out here in the real world. He did that to, I mean, it's not the first time he was doing that. He did that to Jackie in the first week. You guys remember the whole Juju Champ thing? And all touch of, you know, army were like, yes, call her out. And now it's your turn, darling. Y'all gotta suck it up. I mean, it's something he needed to do. Besides, I felt like that needed to be done. It was beginning to look like there was a cohort thing happening. So I think people needed to reinstate the fact that, okay, me and this girl, we are not in any, we are not in bed together. Oh, this is, she's just on her own there, saying her 99 days. It's not like it's something that we plan, which, you know, makes sure that the credibility of the show stays intact, which is why Ebuka was asking that question so that then everybody knows now that, okay, Big Brother and Tacha are not having anything going on because that was beginning to look like what was happening. That was where Ebuka was coming from and he's the host he he was not he was off script he was feeding off what she was giving her it was, um, what she was giving him rather it was not like he came and said okay first line that's not very smart second line I'm like, it's not what he came there to say he was responding to her response so it's what you give me that i will respond to or i will react to so what does the winner have what does the winner possess everything i possess which is he was just doing his job, asking the right questions to make sure that people are not left more confused watching the show. Let's go to Tacha. Now, being placed on the spot like that is no joke. I'm not even gonna lie. Even if you're the most intelligent person, you go shake small before you gather your brain. Even when Jackie, who is a very intellectual person, was asked that question and put on the spot that day, it took her, you know, a few, a minute second to arrange herself before she gave her word. So being put on the spot like that, it kind of, you know, affects you a bit. Second of all, they said, what are the characteristics of a winner maybe auntie was not trying to spill her secrets you know what makes her very unique so what do you think a winner has that makes them win me are you acting ignorant now like you don't know what i'm talking about i'm not acting like i don't know what you're talking about obviously i'm here to win so, so what does a winner me. have what does a winner possess everything i possess which is me me <laughs> I expected better, but unfortunately, I don't know. He's a straight talker. I can just I, I say it as it is. I don't take nonsense. Blah blah blah. Oh, right. yeah, you just, yeah. She even knows that she didn't, you know, she she effed that up. She knows and she's taking corrections. So let's not start dragging Ebuka, dragging Mike. Somehow they dragged Mike into characteristics, saying that, you know, it looks like Ebuka was, you know, sabotaging Tacha because he was in favor of Mike because he and Mike have known each other for that, uh, you know, for whenever, whenever. Trust me, when Mike does something that needs to be called out upon, people are not going to say, okay, Ebuka, because, you know, this guy, don't ask him the hard questions. He's going to ask him. So in defense of Tacha, back to that, I don't think, I think she was caught off guard. She was very, she was caught off guard. She couldn't, you know, put her thoughts together to put them into words. She, in her overly confident nature, wanted to come up some type of way, which didn't exactly work out. So it's just what it is. It's, but it's all in the past now. She's, you know, known her mistakes. They're laughing over it right now in the house. So Adi is not letting her <laughs> hear the end of characteristics. So it's all in the past now. Everybody needs to just chill. It's a game. Nothing to take too serious. It is nomination Monday, and as usual, housemates put up their fellow housemates for possible eviction. The housemates on the chopping block this week are Mike and Tacha, the regular customers, and brand new entries of Omashala and Jeff. Oh, that's interesting. We'll see how many big he's going to evict come Sunday because it's like he's in a hurry to just <laughs> evict all these housemates. I don't know. But he has also promised us that there's going to be a new twist to the game on Tuesday, 7 p.m. Okay, that's something to look forward to. Word on the street is that they're going to be bringing in some new housemates. Okay, they should come through with that Pepe. I'm not mad at that at all. But I am mad at Big Brother, though. Why would you not show us how Nigerians voted? I mean, you only, you know, posted the lowest percentages. Who is the baddest in the land? We need to know, Biggie.